Pluto and the planets. Hello everyone, it's me, Pluto. Today I'm going to show you all the planets in our solar system. Hello Pluto, are you a planet? That's quite a story. Let's first visit the solar system, shall we? Amazing! Let's do it! Meet Mercury, the first planet from the Sun and the smallest in the solar system. To the Sun, it's also the closest. Mercury takes 88 Earth days to have a year, but the day on Mercury is as long as 176 days on Earth. I have a question to ask. Shouldn't years take longer than days? Well, that's not always the case. Planets move in two ways. Firstly, on its own axis, like a dancer on a pirouette. Secondly, around the sun on a path called the orbit. I turn slowly on my axis, so my days are longer. In orbit, I'm quick, so a year takes shorter. Next is Venus, named for the Roman goddess of love. Of all the planets, it rises above. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. It is a rocky planet with the densest atmosphere of all the rocky bodies in the solar system and the only one with a mass and size that is close to that of its orbital neighbour, Earth. While all other planets spin its axis counter clockwise, Venus turns the other way unlike the rest of the flock. This makes the planet upside down. Planet number three is our very own. It is Earth, the one we call home. 70% of its surface is water. Mars, the fourth planet, also fondly called red. Mars is the furthest terrestrial planet from the sun. The reddish color of its surface is due to finely grained iron, three oxide dust in the soil, giving it the nickname, the red planet. It has two moons, Deimos and Phobos. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are not just neighbours by the nearest star, but also compact balls of rocks and metals. They are planets called rocky or terrestrial. Where are we off to next, Pluto? To the bigger planets we go. The one with rings and another with a big spot. That's correct, my little astronaut. Watch out! There are floating objects coming towards us. We're in the asteroid belt, you see? They're ancient debris when the planets are forming. Meet Jupiter. Hydrogen and helium make up its atmosphere. A day is just 10 hours here, but my year is 11.8 in Earth years. My neighbor and I, to the naked eye, are both visible from Earth's sky. I have four sets of rings that are wispy. For my friend Saturn, guess how many? I have seven wider rings, all bright and icy, first seen by Galileo Galilei. Prettiest of all planets, that's me. 82 moons keep me company. Nice to meet you both. Hey, is it getting very cold? Ah, uh, yes, because we're now near the coldest planet out here. My name is Uranus, and I'm blue, green, caused by sunlight and methane. Like my neighbors, I have rings, dark ones and bright ones, a total of 13. Uranus, are you okay? Why are you moving sideways? I move almost 90 degrees on my side. This is how I rotate and I'm all right. Oh, wow. We've come so far. Are we approaching another star? I'm afraid not, my friend. But hey, here's our final planet. Here is Neptune, the fourth largest planet in the solar system, and it has 14 moons. I'm a bit rocky and mostly blue and icy. My six rings are very hard to see. That's because I'm the furthest planet. I'm away from the sun by 30 astronomical units. Say, Pluto, aren't you further away? 39 astronomical units, they say. Well, I am not really a planet. I am known as a dwarf planet. You are the furthest planet from the sun in our solar system. My orbit is a much more elongated ellipse than those of the other planets, so for 20 years out of its 249-year orbit, 
It is in fact closer to the Sun than Neptune. Beyond me lies Eris, the furthest currently recognized dwarf planet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more fun learning.